Hello everyone, today we have new live stream, so I'm still playing with the streaming card, as you can see now it's more or less working. So we are going to check one kit while we can, and as you can see this is a mini art kit which is molded in 135 scale, it's written in the kit number and also here. It's a special edition as it's written here, but it's not a limited edition, and it copies Soviet Jeep crew in 135 scale. So basically it will be handy for some interesting diorama in World War II setting. And there are some suitable kits available from Miniart, but obviously you can use figurines with any kit you would like to. And this is a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. And I think this kit is already available for purchase, so you can get it in Modelimax for sure. They have it uh, available for uh, purchase right now. So if you would like to get it ASAP, just go to their website and you will be able to buy it. So first of all, we have here quite nice box art, I would say. As you can see, we have here one, two, three, four, five figures included, and it's also here written here. Then on this side, we have some information about the kit. So it is written in Ukrainian, Russian, and English. Then on the other side, we have small pictures of other kits in 135 scale, also some safety information and address of the manufacturer. And then on the rear side we have marking guide which is printed in color. That's really cool because this way it will be easier to understand how to paint the figurines and how to paint these accessories as well. Also here we have the paints chart. As you can see there are several manufacturer designations. So I guess you will be able to pick the one which is more suitable for your paints collection. Let's open it. I can see that still we are having some artifacts from the card. It's not that cool, I would say. I hope I will be able to solve this up. But now we can do it only this way. Now just give me a second to cut through the plastic bag and we will check closer what we get here. So first of all, plastic bag was sealed. As you can see, we have here all the plastic sprues packed together and assembly manual was also here. But first of all, I would like to show you this plastic sprue. So here we have various accessories. I will bring it closer so that you can see it in detail. Here it is. Here we have several rifles, also some additional accessories which will be placed on the figures. And as you can see, molding quality looks really nice. We can flip over this sprue and here you can see it from another side. Everything looks good, even on the tiniest elements. So I don't think you will have any issues with assembly of those parts. Maybe painting will be a bit tricky due to the size, but I mean, if you're brave enough to assemble the figures in 135 scale, this won't be an issue for you. Next, we have two small plastic frames. Here they are. Maybe we can zoom in a bit more so that you can see them straight away. So here you can see these two sprues. We have again several machine guns and also I can see pistols and also pistol cases. So all those parts can be used straight away on the figure so you can store them for the next build. It will be up to you but again molding quality looks really great especially considering that this is out of the box detailing and you get it uh, molded out of the plastic. We are used to see such detailing in the resin kits, but here we have standard plastic and for quite a reasonable price, by the way. Next, we have uh, figure parts. Here they are. As you can see, they come on the separate plastic sprue. And note that parts are not numbered. So basically, you will have to look carefully at the marking guide, which was also an assembly guide. and. I mean, track the elements you need for your build. And note that here we have typical parts division for 135 scale. It means separate legs, also separate hands here. We have one piece torso, which is molded with various details on it. And I can even bring it closer so that you can see it in detail. Here you can see it. Uh, Pre-molded detailing looks really good in my opinion. So I don't think you will have any issues here. Then here we have some um, separate body parts would say. Again there is nothing to complain about and I hope it will be easy to combine all those parts together. Of course there are no guiding elements on the other side so keep it in mind but I don't think it will be such a great issue to encounter so no worries. Next we have assembly manual but first I would like to show you this. So this is the last gray plastic sprue. Here we have parts for 
um, three more figurines and as you can see again the parts division um, is absolutely the same as what we saw in the previous sprue also here we have one piece torsos and again we can bring them closer so that you can see them in detail here they are here you can see another one and here you can see legs hands machine gun again hands legs and also various accessories which can be placed on the figures okay so that was the last gray plastic sprue next we have also assembly manual well that's not an assembly manual that's a parts map as you can see it is printed in black and white but because we don't have the parts numbers molded on the frames that's why we have them on this separate sheet of paper well at least like this you will be able to understand which parts to use with this or that figure so um, don't forget or don't lose it because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to understand what you need for this or that figure so that's all for this set review again i will remind that this is a special edition i guess it will be some limited um, issue and this set is already available for purchase in Modelimax as I said before and I will be happy to hear your opinion about the this kit here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual bye